All right, friends. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode numero uno of Shred Your Body with moi and my very, very special guest, my good friend, Nicole. Um, I'm super excited, Nicole. Like, I'm really, really excited. I'm super grateful that you're here. And I, I truthfully in my heart couldn't think of a better person. We started this movement right of er shred and i know it's been a huge deal i mean this is freaking blown up we've yes. it's in countries now nicole it's it's spread to countries and you know some people are getting it some people aren't getting it and you know to give people a brief little quick quick snippet because this is tomorrow night's call the er shred is simply an empowerment movement to help people get back control of their body of their mind to put them back in the driver's seat because so many of us are just confused right now right and that's you know health mentality mindset so that's the quick little snippet um but you you know when i thought of doing these this is going to be nutrition tips and tricks it's going to be interviews your story i can't think of honestly anybody else and i truthfully do say that from my heart because for people that don't know you you're a nutritionist you're a certified personal trainer. You are one hell of a badass MMA competitive fighter, right? People think I'm crazy for running ultra marathons. Like you had three trainings already today in fight camp. So just so you guys know, she's been up since 4 a.m. this morning. She's <laughs> beat herself up three separate times today already. And she's still here. Um, you know, she looks at herself. I think it's a transformation specialist a recovery specialist, which we can dive into, um, a sarcasm enthusiast, which is yes. what I love, right? A sarcasm Absolutely. enthusiast, that's so 100. awesome. Um, and I just think that you're, you know, you're a person that leads from the heart, you know, you lead, you, you want to help people, you want people to feel better. Um, and I just think that that's so awesome. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm honored. Let's do this, right? Let's let's crack let's into go. it, right? Let's so go. let's let's start with what people want first, right? But I know that people want your story more. They don't know that yet, but I'm telling them that they want that because I know tidbits and I'm excited to learn more. But let's just tackle the basics first and then let's dive into that if that's cool with you. Absolutely. Sounds okay. great. Um, so when you first heard of the ER shred from a nutritionist mindset and a nutritionist trained person. Tell me honestly, what was your first thoughts? So uh, I was, I did not think I was going to like it at all. You know, I, I had yeah. a kind of a negative mindset around it. You know, um, I, I help a lot of people and one of them is my mom and um, we put her on our nutrition program and I also put her on vegan and it's yep. done wonders for her, like total turnaround and everything. Right. So, you know, myself included, I just really kind of shied away from meat when that happened. You know, I really didn't need much meat. Um, yeah. You know, so it was it was an adjustment uh, for me when when the ER shred came about, but I was yeah. willing to try it. Um, and I was amazed, to be honest with you. You know, That's awesome. uh, we're, yeah, we're going to dive into that. But I just yeah. want, you know, it's it's. We're obviously both, you know, I've studied nutrition for 20 years. And when I first heard this, I was like, what in the hell? What in the yeah. hell? And, you know, I'll be honest. Like, I tell everybody that. Like, let's just, you know, let's say it how it is. Like, from from what we're so trained to learn, you know, as what people don't realize, I think, is like nutritionist or, you know, whatever. You're, you're studying health. Um, you try to keep up with the trends. And as you learn, if you engulf yourself in that study... And you're learning that, learning that, learning that all of a sudden, even though you know these other things, you tend to focus on obviously what's the mainstream thing. And that's just kind of like, obviously, right, like how our brain works. So I'm, I'm right there with you. So what finally made you say yes and give this a shot with an open mind? Because it's kind of a crazy 11 day protocol, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, so um, as blessed as I am, 2020 has been kind of a rough year for me. You know, I lost my coach in January. He was only 33 years old and, and we had gotten kind of close recently. And um, mm. that was really hard. And then March COVID hit. And as you know, Jesse Fitness took a huge hit. I was teaching at two different gyms and that stopped. And a lot of my personal clients were afraid to work out. So it was a, it was a hit. And I'm a small business owner and a homeowner in 2020, you know. Mm. Um, and, you know, it was like as, as 
as blessed as I am again, you know, I really kind of hit a wall and there was some other personal stuff that had happened. It's really been kind of a tough, not my hardest year, but yeah, I really fell into a depression and it hadn't been that bad since before I originally tried our program. You know, I've been doing it for over three, three years now and it yeah. got really good there. And just this year I had struggled with it for more than I had like in a couple of years. And I was worried, you know, because I thought I was kind of past that, you know, um, mm -hmm. And I know I just knew I needed something, you know, and yeah. I just wasn't feeling like myself. I, I didn't have as much energy as I normally did. You know, I was doing I was kind of just sleeping too much and just just kind of not being myself, you know. And yeah. Sean shared his testimonial and how he was really going through a lot, too, and struggling with depression and having a health crisis. And I'm like, oh, my God. And look how good he looks and everything. Yeah. You know, and I really love Sean. Like I, we are like vibing together, man. I just love him so much and have so much respect for him. Like I texted him earlier today. I'm like, man, you are making such a huge impact. Like this yeah. is huge. Like I'm so proud to know you, you know. So I trust him to begin with. And yeah. uh, so I, I just, even though I was reluctant and I'm like, this looks a lot like keto, you know, I had that bullshit, you know, which is, it's not, um, yeah. you know, it's, it's far from it. Um, I tried it because, you know, I, I, I knew I needed to shift and I, and I know that closed mindedness doesn't get me anywhere. You know, mindset is a, is a huge thing. And we'll probably go into more about that. Um, yeah. But I, kept an open mind. And I said, what do I have to lose? The elimination part of it made a whole lot of sense as a nutritionist. And you know, you know yeah. that Jesse, we're like, you know, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Like, let's bring it back to ground zero, you know? And yeah, just, just like everybody else, day five, man, I was like, let's go, let's keep going. You know? That's awesome. So, <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I think you just get to a point, right? Like I remember even when I first started, like from the outside, people would think like, oh, wow, you got it figured out health wise, you know, because that's the scary part. Like you're you're in great shape. You're a freaking fighter. Like you don't necessarily people would look at you and not be like, oh, like, you know, Nicole needs a, a, a shred, you know. And right. I think that word people automatically assume diet. And, and you and I both know at this point in the game, uh, especially from what we've been through ourselves, but listening to now hundreds of people right? Share their story. This is mm -hmm. so much more. This is, I mean, I've never experienced this in all my years of coaching. I've never experienced people becoming so empowered so quickly and, and just like, it literally makes me cry. Like, like yeah. I'm like, I have goosebumps, like thinking about these people's lives that have, that are changed. And I'm not even an emotional guy, Nicole. Like I, I'm like, <laughs> I gotta, I'm not hold, either. <laughs> I gotta like hold myself back because it's just my vision for people to feel awesome. Like I just, I, I've struggled myself and I know, and you've struggled and, you know, I just want to thank you for giving an open mind because Sean and I both, you know, we know it worked, but it was like, this is crazy. Like how are we going to get people to, to like think that we're like, they don't need to check us into a mental institution, you know? Um, so <laughs> what were your results? The 11 day, pro the, the ER shred for people that don't know is an 11 day protocol that incorporates Four major systems, and we can explain that to you. You can go to you know ershred.com to find out more info. But for you, what did you experience in those eleven days? What was your results from doing this? Yeah, so on day five, I woke up at least five pounds, probably heavier, or I'm sorry, lighter. Um, but that's not even the most exciting part. Like I felt like I was myself again. You know, I felt like I had that energy, that good energy back, and I didn't need coffee in the morning to spring out of bed, kind of a thing. And mm. you know, my training was getting better, and you know, I just noticed my performance was better, my energy was better, my mood was better. I wasn't struggling so much with that depression like I was the, the month before. Yeah. And yeah, and so I just I I was so excited to keep going. And to be honest with you, like I haven't been doing it like as strict as the original eleven days, but I've pretty mm -hmm. much not stopped. Susan That's Susan awesome. Rothman and I talk all the time, and she'll tell you like I'm pretty much doing shred shake days, you know. And I took like yeah. a little break from the cleansing, and then I got back into the cleansing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I hey, I have a fight on November 29th, and. Listen, we have the best way to cut weight. You wouldn't believe what some of these people do to cut weight. It's so freaking unhealthy and horrible. And um, yeah, so I'm glad that I have this solution because I'm cutting weight in a way that makes me feel freaking amazing. I'm trained three times. I still have this much energy right now, you know, and I feel amazing and can't ask for much more than that, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I just... 
I just got to take that in, Nicole, because as an athlete myself, you know, obviously you're a fighter. I do ultra marathons. I got yes. one coming up this weekend. I'm, nice. only 40, I'm only 41 next September. And girl, I feel like I'm 20 years old. Like, I'm like, this, this is like crazy, right? Like you don't look anywhere near 41, Jesse. Well, thank you. I love you even more. I love, <laughs> you, even more. I love you even more for saying that, but this is well, something that's just like, true. I mean, it's just like you're an athlete too, which I, I need people to understand. This isn't, you know, you you mentioned it. You said, "Oh, I lost some weight," and you're going to see crazy stories. I mean, we have crazy inches being lost and pounds being dropped. People say, "I read a comment say the girl was like, I don't understand. I am melting. I am melting." And people have been trying. They've been eating healthy for so long. And it's finally there, but it's like people need to understand. You know, I'm so I'm so glad you you brought that out because this isn't about just losing weight. This isn't. I mean, this can work for athletes. This oh, can work for overweight. This can work for young. This can work for. We have people 80 years old. We have mm -hmm. people in their 20s doing this. Like this is not just a a, a mainstream fad, right? right? That's what I was scared of, Nicole. I I I can't stand fad diets. I, I preach against Same. them, right? Like it's it's lifestyle. It's lifestyle. So well, that's awesome. how I got I mean, those, that's how I got so heavy, Jesse, is is diets, you know? Like I don't know if that's a later question you had for me, but that's how I shot up to over 450 pounds. Yeah. Because I put myself on these diets and I do them. I knew I needed to lose the weight. The doctor's telling me I need to lose weight, my family, everybody, right? So I'd be super excited and sure, I'd get 10, 15, 20 pounds off, but I hit a wall. I was miserable and I was already starving on a nutritional basis, not just mm. starving on that forefront, but starving on a nutritional basis too. And what would happen is I'd eventually hit that wall. I'd binge and I'd gain two to three times as much back. Yeah. So I'd be in the worst position than when I started the diet. I did everything, Adkins, South Beach, Weight Watchers, like every, everything out there. At a very young age, too. So That's I learned, you know, like it, this is not about weight loss, you guys. This is about fueling your body properly. When our when we feed our bodies nutrition that it can use for the health of our cells, it just is naturally going to respond well. Jesse and I know this from our studies in nutrition. Like your body is just not even on a physical level only mentally, performance wise, your aches and pains will kind of go away. You know, we. We don't claim any of that, but you know, that's, we hear a lot of that stuff. And that the reason yeah. is because when you fuel your cells, right, everything in your body works better, your brain, your work, you know, everything. So, yeah, you are, <laughs> you are, you are preaching my language, right? <laughs> I, I think the, the human body is the most miraculous thing that's ever been created. Um, and obviously we know why, right? And I think that no matter what, given a fighting chance, the human body will heal itself. Yes. And Nicole, you just told everybody what that fighting chance is. It's good nutrition. It's Absolutely. quality nutrition. And you touched on this, but I was I was leading in. So let's roll with this. Right. <laughs> like what people might not know about you. See, people always see now they see they see the glory, but they don't know the story. And from getting to know you, I think now it's been, oh gosh, almost five and a half years. I kind of knew you like right at the beginning. Maybe it's been five. Can you believe that? Has it been that long? Maybe three? That we've Did known you each other? Uh, no, I came in in 2017. So it's been three, to be so honest. Two, okay, so three yeah. years, because I was two, two years. years before you. Okay, so yeah. since, I've known, since I've known you though, like this story, okay, you were, you were, you just told people you went up to 450 pounds, right? You have lost in your complete journey as a whole, not because of the ER shred. I want to make that very clear. Yeah. You've lost some with that and regained back that control, which you, you knew that you had, but needed a boost. But you lost over 300 pounds. Yes, sir. Like. <laughs> Thank you. I know everybody watching has got to be doing this because if you're not like you better post in the comments to give this girl some love right now, because that is freaking, yeah. I don't think you know what that takes people. And that's what I want to dive into. Nicole, take us back. You tried every diet. It didn't work. It What did it make you do when you tried those diets? Explain to people what, what were you feeling? You know, I don't want to bring you back to the sad days, but I do want to try to pull it no. out a little bit. If you are willing okay. to go there. 
Okay. So um, another piece of my story is that I was really badly bullied. I went to a Catholic school and I was Ooh. bullied. I remember like they replaced my chair with a broken chair. Even if you put a cat on this chair, it would have collapsed. And I was always the biggest kid. I was the fat kid. Right. Um, you know, I was always much bigger than the other girls, you know, and it's just I always had it when I say I always had a weight problem as a baby. I was obese, like, you know, that kind of a thing. Right. And it just kept getting worse as I was getting older. And everyone made me feel like I was disgusting and I was ugly. And I bought that story. I bought it hook, line and sinker. And in my mind, I really didn't deserve or have a chance to be pretty because I just thought this is how I am, you know? Um, and they also, it was just a, a messed up mindset at, at, at the time anyways, because we all look different for a reason, you know? Um, and you, you grow up and you realize that, that kids are cruel and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, you know, like I said, I was on all these diets and, you know, I'd get a little bit off and yeah, I would get a little bit off, but I, again, I was just, Every diet I did, it was just cutting calories, cutting carbs, you know, low fat this, not paying attention to any nutrients, not paying attention to how many chemicals were in that low fat, no fat snack, right? And just as long as that fit whatever the diet was and ignored that my body felt terrible and just kept going. And then I hit that wall and then it would just be worse off than it was originally, you know what I mean? So I finally, finally realized that there's no shortcuts to this that it's eating healthy, moving your body in the right ways. And the most important part is mindset. Mm. If you are not ready to make a change, you're not gonna make a change. And this goes for people getting sober too. Food was my first addiction. At a very early age, I discovered drugs and alcohol. You know, I have quite a story. It's kind of like a Hollywood movie, to be honest with you, which sounds really cool, but it's not always cool to live, my friends. Right. You know, I, I've actually been pronounced dead. Um, my mom was told to order a casket, and that was because of my alcohol addiction. And I was just a very unhealthy person. My body was completely polluted. I ate fast food three times a day. I drank like a fish. I smoked. You know, like I just didn't care. I popped whatever pills, you know, I just didn't care. I, I honestly was suicidal. I didn't have any respect for myself. And people put that story in my head. People put that story in my head that I was worthless and I was useless and I didn't deserve a good life. And mm. that, my friends, is bullshit. Bullshit. We all deserve a good life. We all deserve to feel good. And I forget which doctor it was, Jesse. Maybe you can... Um, remind them, but who said most people have no idea how good their bodies are supposed to feel. I think it was a doctor or a nutritionist that said that. I'm not 100%. But well, I know. I yeah, I know. I know Dr. Mark Hyman is, um, you know, one of the guys that I that learned from. Yeah, he talks that about it. that a lot. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, yeah. I knew you would know it. Um, so <clears throat> that is just so true, you guys. Um, you know, and I think it's really important to love yourself at every step of the journey. I owe that girl in my before photo everything because mm. she was brave enough to take the first step. Mm. All right. Understand that you need to be proud of yourself every step of the way. You are who you are now if there's no mistakes about it. You know, there's been some horrific things in my past that I really didn't understand at the time how, why I deserved it. And now I'm grateful for everything that I've been through, every bad thing I've been through, horrifying thing I've been through, because it made me the person I am today. And guess what? I can help other people that think they're too far gone to help, because I really did believe that at one time. I really did. I just thought I was way too messed up to stay, but, you know, and here I am, you guys, like I said before, you you see me as a nutritionist, personal trainer, a fighter. I have all this energy, but believe me, it did not look that like that at one time. So the biggest thing is, and you know, as cliche as it sounds, you don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the freaking first step. I'm trying not to cuss, but that's just kind of my thing. Oh, you can cuss in my world, girl. You can you cuss know, in my like, world. Yeah. So yeah, um, you can cuss. the first step, man, and then you take the second step, and then you take the third step. Don't worry about the rest of the steps, okay? But eventually, you're going to look back, and you're going to be like, whoa, look how far up I am. Cool. You know, like, and that's honestly how it is. It really is, you know, and then that gives you the motivation to keep going. And then you, you go to heights. You, I, you guys, I never, even five years ago, if you would have told me this would be my life, I'd be a full-time business owner, a homeowner, 
competing to become a pro athlete, like I would have laughed at you. I really would. I was at rock bottom just five short years ago, you know? Yeah. Um, and in those five years, I've just learned what's important. And that's to believe in yourself, to work on your mindset, to put your mental health first, you guys. You can, like you, we, you've all seen the meme, you can eat the kale, you can take the supplements, you can do the workout. But if you don't deal with what's going on in your head and your heart, it's probably not going to stick. And so that's what I'm really passionate about helping people with is sustainable results that last because I was that person. I could never make it last. Guys, I gained 100 pounds back in six months of time. I, that, I struggled with weight my entire life. And finally, I found my, the program Jesse and I do now. I've maintained my 300 pound weight loss goal for a long time now. Um, you know, even 2020 tried to knock me off. You know, it didn't take me far thanks to the ER shred. You know, I'm back in the game. I'm feeling good. It's just all because of good nutrition, guys. It's no pills. It's no powder. It's no, fr we're not trying to sell you anything. We're just yeah. telling you straight up to listen to your body and do yeah. what's best for you. You know, yeah. so. <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> like wow i you know it's like it's wow they well thank you for being so vulnerable because yeah. <laughs> um i appreciate you for that you know i've i've struggled with vulnerability um you know i myself growing up getting called the fat kid made, being made fun of um you know feeling worthless feeling like my friends really weren't friends they just you know felt bad for me you know what i mean and they made fun of me all the time um you know there's times that i thought about just why am i why am i around why am i here um you just gave me courage nicole like i i, I mean like i need you to know that like you just just gave me that um because i as a male you know from the male perspective i've always taught oh if you show the emotion you're you know, you're a pussy, you're a, you're a this, you're a that. If you cry, you're this, you're that. And, and it beat me up so much that like, I literally told myself stories and then thought that other people needed to see what wasn't even me. Um, and, and to step out and be able to share that, like, I'm, I'm going to roll with that. And I want, you, that's going to be because of you. So thank you. Um, thank you for that. And I don't know if you saw that the, I've been posting, I've been hitting things while you were going off and showing people like you got people going crazy in the comments. Um, I I've, I've been, I've been flashing them on the screen so others can see like there are so many people out there that I know it's not your story because your story is your own story, right? Like you are your own person and you are that your story is yours, um, but you don't have to be your story. And I hope Nicole has showed you that like five years ago. Five years ago, it was none of this. And today, I mean, you're thriving. Like, you are yep. full of life. You can, I mean, the energy coming off, like, I can feel it through my computer, like, just your energy, you know? And it's just, it's just so amazing. So let's talk a little bit more about mindset, Nicole, because there are a lot of people that are struggling with weight. Um, and as a, as a coach, trying to get people to understand and not listen to media and not feel bad and, you know, not, and hold themselves at this thing. Like, what are some tips that you can give? What are some tricks that if people are struggling with mindset and don't feel good, like you're ready to burst. I know you are. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Like Let me tell, <laughs> tell people because I was never at your point. I had my own, but this is about you. What, what did you do? What have you learned through your failures that hopefully we can pass on to somebody else so they can take with them and put it in their tool belt? You know, um, the first thing that comes to mind, and it actually came to mind before when you were talking about your own experiences, you're never bound to your current circumstances. Mm. I'm going to say that again. You're never bound to your current circumstances, you know, and I get it. I get it. Sometimes it's like it feels real. It gets real, guys. It gets real, real, right? And they're just like, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. Like, how how in the world am I going to, you know, get through this? You're never bound to your current circumstances, you know? Grab a light. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, um, I, I'm grateful I had the courage to ask for help. I think it's super important to have somebody that you trust um, mentor and coach you and believe in you. I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Someone else believed in me before I believed in myself. But finding self-love has been pivotal 
and so important, but it doesn't happen overnight, guys. It doesn't happen overnight and that's okay. You're still gonna have those thoughts and stuff. And, but the great thing is we can always recondition our mindset. We can always recondition our mindset. When we're born, it's like a blank slate. And as we get older and experience life and people and events and things, the slate gets filled up. Mm-hmm. And we think and act every day as a result of that slate. And if we don't do anything to change the trajectory, we'll keep thinking and acting and doing that way. But if we say, hey, I want to change and I know I'm going to have to change what I'm doing. If I'm changing what I'm doing, I'm going to have to change what I'm thinking. Right. So how do I change what I'm thinking? So a few different things that I do is I have affirmations. I write myself encouraging notes. I have like things on my nightstand. I have um, I do a little miracle morning routine. I know Jesse knows what that is. And a lot of people know what that is, where I just have a little 10 minute routine in the morning before I check my phone. I try not every time, but Mm -hmm. I try to leave that phone down because you want to start your day off on a positive note. So it's just silence. You have um, affirmations, you have visualization, you have a little exercise and that doesn't mean go run a five miles. It means uh, (laughs) some stretching, do a little yoga, do, you know, do a little something, something because movement is medicine guys. Movement is medicine. Um, so just a little something to, to get your, your your mind and your body going. And then reading and writing. Just writing down my intention for the day and writing down how I want things to go, you know, and that is that's how I start my day off now, you know. But hey, did did it look like that at the beginning? Hell no. You know, sometimes you just have to take it one hour at a time, one day at a time, one thing at a time. I didn't start off doing suicide sprints and eating nothing but salads, okay? But I would have been packing my bags, no way, right? So I remember I used to go buy these like healthy choice, smart one frozen meals and I'd bring them to my first chair and I'd be like, look at these, aren't I doing good? And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah those, those are better. And at yeah. the time I didn't get it, but now I get it. Like uh-huh. you know, those frozen processed meals are not good even though they say healthy choice. Right. It's not really the healthy choice. You know, they're pretty devoid mm-hmm. of nutrients. Right. But compared to fast food three times a day, that was good. So mm-hmm. she didn't discourage me. She just said, it's better. You know? Yeah. OK, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> and then she <laughs> going, you know what I mean? Um, and that's just just it. you got to meet people where they are, you guys. OK, just start with little changes and those little changes and those little steps add up to huge huge dividends you guys mm-hmm. you know and it and it's doable it's doable okay we can all you know do little daily things that are not overwhelming that'll get us closer to our goals you know what i'm saying um but you know it, it really is you know like I, I touched on this before that you just really have to be ready and and you know any kind of transformation in life whether it's you know physical mental you know professional you know, um, it's, it's, it's all a process, you know, it's one day at a time. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I hope you guys got some, some great nuggets out of that. If not go back, watch it, you know, maybe type into the comments. What is the one thing you see that thing that I put up there, Nicole, just so you know, like Mindy said, I needed to hear this. Thank you, Nicole. And you have, you have a lot of these things. Like, I just want you to be able to, to see that, but Thank you know, you if you guys, you know, right into the comments, let Nicole, what are the tidbits that you got out of this? What are the nuggets that you're taking from her? Because she's dumped a lot of them on you. A lot of them. I mean, these are things you guys have to understand. I got people, more. Pay, <laughs> people pay thousands of dollars for coaches to share this information. And yep. Nicole is graciously giving you real life experience of somebody who's gone through it. She knows the ups. She knows the downs. And she's learned how to, what I like to call, maximize the highs and minimize the lows. Because no matter what, Nicole, like, you still have bad days, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I call them shitty days. Like, I got shitty days, right? Like, we all have shitty days. Nobody. You know, we always look at somebody else and go, oh, they're better. Stop Mm -hmm. the comparison. Stop the freaking comparison because comparison is the thief of all joy, damn it. Absolutely. And- Absolutely. P- people think I'm like this fearless badass. Guys, I'm scared as hell when I before I go on my fights. Yeah, we look tough when we're walking out to our song and stuff like that. Even <laughs> the most high-level guys, I don't care, Conor McGregor, all those guys, trust me. 
they're nervous. Yeah. So just because someone looks at, trust me, the people you think are fearless, they're really not. They just do it in spite of the fear. The people you think are perfect, they're not perfect. Trust me, behind closed doors, they got their crap too. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So give yourself a break, trust the process, take it one step at a time and don't quit on yourself. That's the thing. You can yeah. slip. You guys you know how many times I messed up and slipped and it ate too much or something like that, but guess what? I got back on it. Because it doesn't matter that you fall, it doesn't matter that you slip, it's that you stay the course because the consistency is gonna be the thing that gets you there more than anything, right? So don't beat yourself up if you get off track a little bit. The track is still there, right? Is it there? Yeah. <laughs> the track is there, it's it's cemented in the ground. Right. <laughs> and that is so beautiful. I mean, it's seriously like I, I think how many times have you you've done a lot of diets and stuff, and I know people are gonna be able to relate to this. And by the way, comments are coming in. People are, I need you to go back and look and see what people are taking away from you. Um, you are blessed lives and and that is that's the greatest gift we could freaking do. But anyways, um, you know, I forgot even what I was gonna ask you. I'm so freaking excited. But um as you go through and fall off, right? Like you naturally want to give up on yourself because you're like, oh, that's you know, I'm just doing that again. I'm just doing that again, right? I know for me, what I mean by that is like, for me, fitness, when I found fitness, it was my out. It was my escape from how shitty I felt about myself. And I used that as my crutch. But I know in business and stuff, like I've made a lot of stupid mistakes in life. I've lost friends because of it. I, I've, I've hurt myself because of it. I made myself look like an asshole and a scumbag when I know in my heart I'm not. And I'm just like, you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, I knew yeah. that I couldn't give up. And I wanted to like crawl in a hole and die sometimes because I was so embarrassed, you know? But what what helped, like, what, what can people do when they fall off and get those thoughts? I know you said positive affirmations. Um, you know, what's going to give them that kick in the ass if they don't have necessarily that coach or whatever that, that can help you get back? Can you pinpoint something that maybe that maybe you could – pull that 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 helped you do that um you know i think having you know and i know jesse you've heard this a lot and a lot of people on this call have probably heard this a lot but it's really true is focusing on your why yeah why do you want like it's guys it's it's not about the 10 pounds or the 100 pounds even the 150 pounds it's not about that it's not about the jeans you want to fit into like, what do you really want? Like, what would your life look like if, you know what I'm saying? Like you looked the way you wanted to, you walked the way you wanted to, you talked the way you wanted to, you were doing the things you wanted to, and so, you know, vice versa, you know? And I think it's just important to understand that, you know, the life that you want to live is, it's possible. You know, mm -hmm. you just have to take those steps. And again, yeah. I think it, it comes back to trusting your coach, trusting your plan, you know? Um, and just taking it one step at a time, right? Some days you're going to do amazing. Some days you're not going to do so amazing. And that's okay because every day that you're in the game counts, right? I don't have great training days all the time. Sometimes I suck, right? Sometimes I'm great and I amaze myself, but even those bad training days count towards my progress. Wow. It's progress over perfection. Here's, here's what it really is for you guys. Progress over perfection. Yes. Stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to be a hundred all the time. You know what I mean? Eat, adopt that rule, you know, 80, 20, 90, 10, if you're like an athlete like me, but guess what? You guys, no one is a hundred percent perfect. Like I mm -hmm. said before, behind closed door, even the people that seem like they have it all together, they really don't. Us mm -hmm. athletes, you know, we our nutrition, nutrition is amazing, but every once in a while, you're damn right. We'll get down on some pizza and, you know, have things like, yeah, you know, Jesse too. Like, ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. Like guys, <laughs> life is meant to be lived. Okay. What's the point? Like, yeah. Okay. You can be a hundred percent, but you're going to be miserable. You know what I mean? Like enjoy your life and, and make sure that your goals are your goals. They're not your parents, your spouses, societies, whoever, you know, told you as a kid that they wanted you to be a certain way, you, what's going to make you happy. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, especially women, like we're all, we're pressured to be a size zero. Listen, the average woman's size in the U S is a 16. Yet we all see all these models that have been photoshopped and airbrushed and things like that. Listen, ladies, everybody is beautiful. 
And there are people that are bigger, that are athletic as hell and can do yoga and everything, right? So you can't judge a book by its cover and don't try and force your body into a box it doesn't fit in because that's exactly what keto people do and fad diet that just that's why jesse and i are so against that because you're trying to stuff your body into a box that doesn't fit in and it tells you oh yeah mm -hmm. sure you lost a bunch of weight but you gained it right back after you ate a piece of bread didn't you like you know that's not normal right like you're not that's not how it's supposed to be your right. body's supposed to feel good you're not supposed to be starving all the time or you know the, the extremes you know find find that balance in the way that's right for you right yeah yeah Oh my God, Nicole, I, I don't want to blow people's brains up too much. Um, I also want to make sure that I respect your time because I want to hold these and I, I've gone over. So I apologize about that. But girl, you have brought so much fire, so much knowledge. I'm, I want to go back and listen to this because I need to go back and take notes. Um, seriously, like you're, you're a gift, like you are a gift. And I hope people appreciate what you give and you put your heart on your sleeve and, and, you just pour it out there. Like I, I feel that from you. Like I need you to know that. Like I feel that energy from you, and it literally like, it, I'm like, sh I, like I'm gonna have trouble to focus because I'm like <laughs> chilly and shaky, and it's just um I, I can't thank you enough. Um guys, if you want to learn more about the ER Shred, go to ershred.com. We invite you into our group. We have a, a group on Facebook called ER Shred. Go search it. We have over 19 thousand people um it's open we'll we'll let you in check things out listen to other testimonials come on to our call tomorrow um you know it's up at the top of our our banner uh the the zoom number come in there listen to people's testimonials real life people just like nicole just like you just like you know what what, what, we're, what we're hearing um people are coming alive people are freaking coming alive and it's the greatest gift that we could possibly give to somebody. So again, Nicole, thank you so freaking much for your time and, and for really letting it all out there. Um, it, it's brave. It's it's really brave to do that. And I appreciate you for doing that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know, it's 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 uncomfortable sometimes, but I know it helps a lot of people. So and in turn, that, that makes me feel good. So thank for you sure. for having me. It was a pleasure. I hope we get to do it again sometime. And oh, we're going to do it again. We got, we got lots and lots and lots to talk about, my friends. So don't worry about yeah. that. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys. Have an awesome night. And we will talk to you soon.